Hey there, Seawolves fans. Sit back and get ready for another episode of the Get Your Red On Minute. Brought to you by Petro, the only name you need to know for all your home services. I'm your host, Diane Caruso. Senior Sabri Proctor and Jessica Agunorin have had an amazing year, to say the least. These two Seawolves have highlighted their senior year with a win over SUNY Albany on their senior night. With such stellar careers, let's see how their years played out here at Stony Brook in this week's edition of the Seawolves Senior Spotlight. I really am happy with my decision to come here. Um, I've grown academically, sports-wise, and you know, things happen in life, so I've learned how to deal with change, because we had to deal with different changes in the program. So, and that happens even after you're done with college, so it's, uh, it's been a very good and learning experience for me, and I've been learning how to adapt to different situations and not let it affect my performance. Trying to build relationships was probably one of my biggest things that I learned here, and kind of, you know, t going with the flow, taking whatever it gives you, and, you know, making things good when they're, always, when they're not. You, your seniors leave, you have new people that have to step up into positions, so it's kind of like always facing adversity, but not making it in a bad way. Make it looking at it in a, in a positive out, outcome. And there are things outside of basketball or any sport that you need to do and involve, um, get involved with. And that's just something for me that I want to teach um, the younger ones that they need to stay involved. Focus on your academics, try and network anytime you can. Because it's possible, even though we're busy, it's still possible if you really learn how to work with time management. On January 3rd, Sabri notched her 1,000th career point at Stony Brook, one of only seven players to do this in just three seasons. I mean, it was really important. I had all my family here, you know, and it was our first time, uh, well, my last time playing in this arena, and which is, you know, it's big for me because since we started in Pritchard. But we always, it's a good game. It's a battle between us, Albany and Stony Brook. And I thought that we came out and we fought hard and, you know, we overcame and came with the victory. As seniors, Sabri and Jess are looking at life after Stony Brook and how they will handle those challenges. Um, my plans right now, I'm getting my master's degree in human resources. And I'm looking to get into that with, you know, an, any corporation, Target, um, Travelers, the insurance company, any any of those big businesses I'm looking forward to. So that's what I'm excited for. I will have to make a decision and either I'm going to play overseas or find a career here and continue to be in the United States. We have Hartford and, you know, then it's the tournament and whoever we play out of that. But um, I think it's exciting. It's a thrill, so I'm excited to see where we end up. When we play to our cap capabilities and our potential, then it's hard for other teams to beat us. So if we keep playing hard, uh, I think that we'll do something that hasn't been done before for the D1 program. I think we can. I think we have the talent. We have the depth on the team to win, you know, to win the tournament. But it's up to us to go out and play like that. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss Red Fridays, make sure you come back next week. Because remember, you're in Seawolves country now, so get your red on. It's what we do.